Okay, hello guys. Welcome to today's class. I don't know if you are, oh no, you are not watching me. Yeah, here. Welcome to the next class. This is Friday's 22nd of May class. Today we are going to continue with the PDF of pages 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so please don't forget to update your pictures to Microsoft Teams because we need obviously to have the evidence we are working on. And I am going to check that you have name, group, and section, semester, if you want to add them, um, on your sheets, okay? Juanito Lopez, sexto C, etc. Fake. Adjectives, superlatives, one of them. So we need to check when it's necessary to use adjectives in superlatives. Example in here. Uh, complete with one. Uno, ones, or one of them, okay? We use each word, each of these words, to, specific, to be specific in some different aspects. Example in here. My backpack is very old. I need a new one. Necesito una nueva, okay? for this and then we have number two the new smartphones are better than the old porque es plural are better tenemos aquí smartphones varios we need to add uh, ones the old ones como los viejos especificando ones en plural the new smartphones are better than the old ones. Están mejor que los anteriores o que los viejos. Okay? Ones. Number three. One of the most adventurous things I have done is bungee jumping. Una de las más aventureras cosas que he hecho o de las cosas más aventureras que he hecho is the bungee jumping, haber saltado del bote, okay? One of the, una de las, o una de la, una de él, dependiendo de lo que estamos especificando. One of the most adventurous things I have done is bungee jumping. Number four, one of the biggest animals on earth are the elephants. One of the biggest animals, uno de los más grandes animales en la tierra son los elefantes, okay? Number five, if you buy three cupcakes, if you buy three cupcakes, you get free. Si tú compras tres cupcakes, tú obtienes uno gratis. If you want, if you buy three cupcakes, you get one free. You get one free, okay? Six, she needs some, sorry, she needs new shoes. The old ones are too small for her. Ella necesita nuevos zapatos. Los viejos, the old ones are too small for her. Okay, in this exercise, we have the um, example with ones con el mismo adjetivo old. Pero puedes usarlo, the taller ones, the newest ones, okay? Puede ser cualquier adjetivo y puedes delimitarlo o aclararlo con la palabra ones, si es plural. Then we have imperatives. Remember, we use the positive or negative imperative to rewrite the following sentence. And in here we have imperatives. What is the meaning of an imperative sentence in Spanish? Una oración imperativa en español. I must see it first. Yo debería verlo primero. Una imperativa es una 
una oración donde tú declamas o reiteras algo. Let me see it first. Sería nuestra primera oración imperativa aquí. One, let me see it first. You have it completed, I think. It first. I must see it first. Let me see it first. Okay. Number two. We mustn't worry about that, about it. We mustn't worry about it. Then we have to use another imperative to say, let's. Number two, let's no worry about it. No hay que preocuparnos. Let's no worry about it. Okay, please copy the sentence in here. Primarily, sorry, here. not let's not worry about it also let's not worry about it okay let's go to the number three and check he can go there el puede ir ahí He can't go there. Nosotros tenemos que decir, déjalo ir ahí. Let him go there. Let him go there. Let him go there. Okay. We should get up early. Nosotros deberíamos despertarnos temprano. We should get up early. Let's get up. Let's up early. Okay. Number five. We should go to the party. We could go to the party. Let's go to the party. Number five, we have let's go. Okay. Very good. Then in the following topic, we have sub subordinated conjunctions. The subordinating conjunctions are these ones that we have in here. And we have to choose the correct subordinating con conjunction to complete the sentences. So we have whenever, the, whether, lest, so that, as, another so that in here, unless, if, and where. We need to check how much, how many words we have in here. Let's try this, let's read the sentences we have in order to find them the correct, the correct word, okay? We have in number one, I made it a point to visit the, Pir the Pirámide del Sol, I go to Mexico. Es un hecho que visitaré la pirámide del sol. I go to Mexico. And the correct answer is whenever I go to Mexico. Why or how do we use whenever? Cuando sea que vaya a México. O sea, no importa si es este año el que viene, yo pisando México voy a la pirámide del sol. Muy bien. 
this is the house I used to stay when I was studying at university. What, sorry, what word can we use in here? And we have, this is the house, esta es la casa. Aquí pusimos cuando, aquí sería donde. We have where, yes. This is the house where I used to stay when I was studying university. Number three, you get the first place at school. I will buy you a lunch. Which word will be in here? Think about them, take a look to the vocabulary. You get the first place, I will buy you lunch. This is a conditional. Si ustedes ven, tenemos dos oraciones. Son condicionales y tenemos que agregar if. If you get the first place at school, I will buy you lunch. Number four, you work hard, you won't save enough to go on vacations. Can be weather or unless. We cannot use whenever of or where or if. So in number four, we are going to use al menos que tú trabajes muy duro. Unless, unless you work hard, you won't save enough to go on vacations. Si no recuerdan el significado de estos subordinating conjunctions, anótenlos ahí al ladito para que los tengan en la guía también. Que valga la pena el repaso. I am leaving tomorrow, number five. I am leaving tomorrow. You give me, uh, you give me the permission or not, number five. Um, what could it be is weather. I am leaving tomorrow, whether you give me the permission or not. Así me des el permiso o no. Yo me voy mañana. Okay. Whether is, it is, for example, if I say whether you like it or not. Bueno, pues así será, si te gusta o no, así va a ser. Okay. Whether you like it or not. And here is whether you give me the permission or not. Number six. He could not get a ticket. Él no pudo obtener un ticket, un boleto. He got early to the stadium. What is the correct answer for number six? He could not get a ticket, though he got early to the stadium. Como un a pesar o aunque haya llegado temprano al estadio. Él no pudo alcanzar boleto. No. He couldn't. Get a ticket that he got early to the stadium. Lady Gaga seven. Lady Gaga delivered a splendid performance, so she had rehearsed very well. Number seven, the correct subordinating conjunction is the correct answer in number seven is us. Lady Gaga delivered a splendid performance as she had rehearsed well. Ya que ensayó muy bien. It is like a comparison. Eight, parents should give enough attention to children. They will not feel neglected. Los padres deberían poner la atención suficiente a sus hijos para que ellos no se sientan desplazados. Number seven, number eight, the correct answer is so that, para que ellos, en este caso, para que parents should give enough attention so that they will not feel neglected. Number nine, he is dishonest 
No one trusts him. And we have two words left. We have left or we have so separated like that. Number nine is he is, he is so dishonest that no one trusts him. Number nine, 10, number 10. I will write it down. I will write it down. Voy a escribir. Lest I should forget. I will write it down. Lo voy a escribir. I should forget. Lest, the word lest is ya que sé que lo olvidaré. Si no lo anoto. I will write it down lest I should forget, All right? Okay, so let's continue with this. We are going to check future in the past. Complete the sentences with the correct choice. I knew he was angry, but I didn't think he Yo sabía que él estaba enojado, but I didn't think he, yo no creí que. Possible options, was fighting, was going to fight, will fight. Yo no creí que él, letter B, he was going to fight. I knew he was angry, but I didn't think he was going to fight. Yo no creí que él fuera a pelear. Number two. I knew you. I knew you, your test, you didn't study. I knew you, yo sabía que fallarías el examen, reprobarías el examen. I knew you would fail your test. You didn't study, that's the reason, okay? Number three. I lost the bus tickets the day before. Perdí los boletos un día antes. On our vacation trip. I lost the bus tickets the day before. <laughs> We're leaving on the... So the correct answer in here is letter A. I lost the bus tickets the day before. We were leaving, aquí nos falta un we. We were leaving on our vacation trip, okay? Number four, I forgot I, you today. I'm sorry, se me olvidó. I was going to call you. Se me olvidó que te iba a llamar hoy. I'm sorry, lo siento. Number five. She promised she the project last week, but she didn't. She promised she will finish the project last week, but she didn't. Se fijan, estamos usando... En el pasado, cosas que iban a suceder en el futuro. Number six, she asked whether he, ella preguntó si él, but there wasn't nothing he could do. Si él, number six, would help, si él podría ayudar, if he would help, but there was nothing he could do. Si él pudiera ayudar, pero no había nada que hacer. Number seven, we on vacations, but my friends got sick, so we couldn't go. Number seven is the answer on letter B. We were going to be sent on vacations. Nosotros nos íbamos a ir de vacaciones, Pero, 
de mis amigos, se enfermó uno y no pudimos ir. We were going to be sent on vacation, but my friends got sick, so we couldn't go. Number eight, we were excited because the next, because next morning we back home. Nosotros estábamos entusiasmados porque a la mañana siguiente nosotros iríamos a casa. We were going back home. Nosotros iríamos a casa. Number nine. I, a car, but my budget didn't allow me. Mi presupuesto no me lo permitió. I was going to buy, yo iba a comprar a new car, un, un carro un, este nuevo, un carro nuevo, But my budget didn't allow me. Mi presupuesto no me dio chance, no me lo permitió. Then we have in number 10. I told my friends not to call me that night. Les dije a mis amigos que no me llamaran aquella noche. Because I should study for my math test. Give me your possible answers in here. The correct answer is ¿Por qué yo estaría o iba a estar estudiando? Para mí, I will be studying for my math test. This is incorrect in here. I will be studying for my math test. These two words are not in the sentence. For you. Correct answer, letter A. Okay. Let's go and check people the Future with going to. And I think this is pretty bit, pretty easy when we finally understand the use of going to. I am, is, or are, dependiendo de cada pronombre, se usa am, is, or are. Igual si es negativo, pues dices I am not, is not, are not. Complete the sentences with the to be going and the verbs in brackets. Example, we are going to cook dinner this evening. Next summer, I am going to travel. And we have in here. Next summer, I am going to travel. Tengo mi verbo to be, mi going to, y mi verbo en forma base. Okay? Number two. My sister Maria... In Madrid, Maria is she, so uso is. My sister Maria is going to live in Madrid. Is going to live in Madrid. This is number two. We're not getting lost. Number three. Sorry, letter C. They are going to play tennis this afternoon. They, ellos van a jugar tenis esta tarde. They, they are going to play tennis this afternoon. Letter D, my father, mi padre, buy a new car. My father is going to buy a new car. Then we have the next letter is E. Susan and David, dos personas, el pronombre is they are going to see the film tonight. Susan and David van a ver la película esta noche. Mm -hmm. Are going to see the film tonight. Then we have another sentence. I am going to visit the dentist tomorrow. I am going to visit the dentist Tomorrow. 
visit the dentist tomorrow. Okay, so this is the use of going to when we use it for future. Okay, let's see the next topic. Used into negative. I really love used to because it's very, very basic. I am going to give you some instructions in here. If I use used to in affirmative, is the regular. Used to do. But if I use it in negative, I need to use didn't used to. Mi verbo use se queda en forma base junto con el resto de los verbos. I used to, I didn't used to drink. Yo no solía beber. Okay. Siempre que tenga que cambiar a negativo, agrego didn't por pasado. Yo solía, yo no solía. Le quito la D al use y agrego mi verbo en forma base. Vamos a ver el primer ejemplo. Complete the sentences with the correct negative form of used to. I didn't used to work in the Twin Towers. En negativo quedará de la siguiente manera. I didn't used to work in the Twin Towers. Yo no solía trabajar. Agrego didn't. Acuérdense que did, didn't funciona para los siete pronombres y es bien fácil porque solo le vas a quitar la de al used to. Siguiente. We didn't used to leave the classroom at 4 p.m. Nosotros no solíamos salir de clase a las cuatro. Didn't used to leave classroom. No solíamos dejar el salón a esa hora. Number three. I didn't used to forgive him. Yo no solía perdonarlo. I didn't used to Used to forgive him. No solía perdonarlo. Number four. The teacher didn't used to speak English in the classroom. El maestro no solía hablar en inglés en el salón. Didn't used to speak English in the classroom. Didn't used to speak English in the classroom. Okay, that is very easy, right? Really hope you are learning a lot with this video classes. Six, she used to spend, ella solía gastar, usar mucho tiempo en el supermercado. She, en negativo sería, mm -hmm. she didn't used to spend a lot of time in here. Didn't use to spend. Next, number seven. Oh, I forgot this, number five. He, he used to write a lot. El no solía escribir mucho. Didn't used to write a lot. Okay. And this is number six. Six is she didn't used to spend. Let me go ahead for you. She didn't. And number seven and last is we didn't used to play outside. Nosotros no solíamos jugar afuera. 
students used to play outside. Okay. Solía y en negativo no solía. Muy bien. Let's check the next topic. Past tenses. Tiempos en pasado. Complete the sentences in the correct past tense. Simple past, past progressive, past perfect, past perfect progressive, etc. How do we define simple past? ¿Cómo definimos el simple past? Very easy, guys. We define it with the irregular and regular verbs in past. Tenemos verbos regulares en pasado a los que les agregamos ed y una lista muy seleccionada, muy selecta de los verbos irregulares. En los verbos irregulares, como su nombre lo dice, el verbo se transforma como take, took, ¿ok? Como speak, spoke. Como made and make. Esos son nuestros verbos irregulares. Tenemos, obviamente, eh, was y where, que se conjugan eh, con otros verbos eh, y que se ven implicados en el past progressive, en pasado progresivo. Cuando usas I was driving, yo estaba manejando. I were, you were working, tú estabas trabajando. Okay. Tenemos past perfect, el pasado perfecto se usa con el auxiliar had, I had, y los verbos en pasado participio. I had worked in three companies. Yo he trabajado en tres compañías. I had been to Italy. Yo he estado en Italia. Okay. Y tenemos el past perfect progressive. El past perfect progressive incluye el adjetivo, el auxiliar had, I had, pero también incluye el auxiliar de be, que es been, y luego su verbo en ing. I had been uh, educated. Yo he estado educando. I had been educated. She has been visiting Rome. Ella ha estado visitando Rome. ¿Ok? Estos son nuestros tiempos y son los que vamos a acomodar en el siguiente ejercicio. Take a look to the sentences, revisen las oraciones y traten de responder. Ok. We have eight sentences to work on. Number one, a babysitter came to our house yesterday. Como fue ayer, es una oración simple. Una niñera vino a nuestra casa ayer. Came. Came es la forma en simple past. De vino. Okay. Next sentence. Number two, he, to repair the window that a few days before. ¿Qué tiempos de gramática podemos usar en esta oración? El primero, he wanted to repair the window. He wanted to repair the window. Primero está en simple past. And then, had broken, that was perfect, some days before. He wanted to repair the window that had broken a few days before, que se había roto algunos días antes. Number three, before he, at my door, he, for a parking space for about 10 minutes. Antes de él, antes de que él llamara a mi puerta, que es round, 
ring run, so simple past form. He had been looking, él había estado buscando. <laughs> This keyboard makes it crazy. He had been looking, él había estado buscando estacionamiento. Por algunos minutos, por 10 minutos. Okay. Mm, we have in here, let me repeat the sentence, is Before he rang at my door, he had been looking for a parking space for about 10 minutes. Él había estado buscando por un estacionamiento eh, por 10 minutos. Number four. While the electrician, mientras el eléctrico, was repairing the electricity, mientras el eléctrico estaba reparando la electricidad, I was reading the news. Both are in past progressive. Ambos están en pasado progresivo. And is was repairing. Yes, was repairing. So, mm -hmm. so, 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 so. Repairing. And I was reading. It is for both. Number five, suddenly I, that day, on uh, our street on TV, suddenly I noticed, yo me di cuenta, go past, that they were showing our street on TV, que ellos estaban enseñando nuestra calle en la televisión. Ok, let's check number six. As we were talking, mientras nosotros estábamos hablando, mientras nosotros hablábamos, we, nosotros, fuimos interrumpidos por una llamada telefónica. Mm -hmm. As we were talking, we were interrupted by a phone call. We were interrupted by a phone call. Fuimos interrumpidos. We were interrupted by a phone call. Then we have number seven. I learning Chinese, but I suddenly two months ago. Yo comencé, había comenzado, sorry. I had started number seven. I had started to learn Chinese, but I suddenly stopped two months ago. Yo había comenzado a aprender chino, but I suddenly stopped, double P, two years ago. Pues, past perfect, pasado perfecto, yo había comenzado y yo dejé de estudiar hace dos meses. Eight, a huge amount of money robado and no one knows anything, no one, know, no one helped the police. A huge amount of money and no one knows anything, no one helped the police. What is the correct form of the verbs in this example? It is una larga cantidad de dinero había sido robada. Had been stolen. This is past perfect progressive. 
okay? So guys, with this exercise, we just finished the class, today's class from the Thursday 22nd of May. And I will send you uh, tomorrow the material you will be working for Friday. So thank you very much, guys. I see you on the next class. And please let me know all the doubts you have for the lesson and for the activities we have been working on, okay? So bye.